And welcome back, disc golf fans, to the 2024 Play It Again Sports Jonesboro Open presented by Westside Discs. This is stop number five on the Disc Golf Pro Tour for 2024. Always exciting to be in northeastern Arkansas here at the disc side of Heaven Course. And we are delighted to bring you the Case Card Plus coverage. It's going to be solo today. Unfortunately, due to some logistics, Nathan Queen can't be here. You can see 83 was the proposed high for uh, this Sunday round. Isaac Robinson and Anthony Barella, each with a share of the lead going into this round three. And Kristen Tatar with a six-stroke lead over Holland Handley. We'll be keeping an eye on the chase card action. And if there are anybody else popping off on the lower cards, we'd love to see some of that too. For MPO teeing off in the afternoon, the wind was definitely a factor, although much much more consistent direction than it had been in the previous two days. Uh, and that means that scoring is possible, but you absolutely know how to ha absolutely have to know how to control your discs. Uh, this is a very long course, checking in at nearly 10,000 feet with a par 63. Let's start with Ezra Aderhold here on hole two. Uphill at 360 feet. Ezra is going to play over stable out to the right side. Thank you. And great angle selection with the wind. As it catches its stability, the wind helps it drag back to the left. That's going to leave Ezra just outside the bullseye with a chance to score. And hole three, playing with a pretty severe tailwind. Once again, chooses the right stability, skirts around the corner and inside the bullseye for another birdie chance. Albert Tom throwing his second on hole six. And the entire world attached to this card saying, sit, sit, stop. What more can you do, Albert? We're going to watch this one more time. Plays the forehand skip shot low around the corner. Rises into the headwind, tags the band. And then an insolently slow roll back here into the middle of circle two. It's like four or five times this just could have flopped over for Albert. I'm going to see Albert again on hole seven. He tries to make a push. This is a delicate upshot. And wow, he lands right at the basket pretty slow and then continues down into C2. It's a blind upshot, so Albert probably has no idea that it's done that. Ben Calloway, taking a little bit of the read, lands it higher on the hill. Ezra Aderhold. This forehand looks sawed off from the tee, but that's kind of what it should look like as he nearly aces hole nine. Gannon Burr trying to stay in the mix, and that putt's going to help his cause. And we'll stay with Gannon here on hole 10. Difficult par 4, playing with a right-to-left wind. And that is a helping wind for Gannon Burr as it climbs back up the hill and well inside C1. Ben Calloway into a headwind, a little bit of right to left cross on 11. Pretty full swing. And judges that win perfectly. Enough speed to climb back up the hill to the bullseye. Take a look from the reverse angle. As Calloway's nose never gets tipped up. Cuts into the, into the crosswind and then stability on the end. Aider hold, continuing to charge. Caches this C2 putt on hole 12 for his birdie. Ben Calloway, we saw him on 11. This one's a little more challenging. I'm sorry, a little easier. 11's very challenging. This one's uh, shorter and more favorable wind direction. And he's going to convert this one also. Thank you. 
and into the headwind. Never really lifts on him. That's where you want to hit. We'll go over to hole 14 as Ezra Aderhold trying to play forehand across the water on this par 5. And he wanted to keep it low, but definitely not that low. That's going to be a costly mistake sending him to the drop zone. Jumping over to 15. This can absolutely be a swing hole. And Callaway. In. Albert Tom going to try to follow that line. And also inbounds. And we'll see Ezra doing the same thing. Overstable fairway seems to be the order of business for this chase card. And as the wind plays havoc with it, just enough speed and stability to jump in. Callaway. And he hits that a good height, but a little bit left side. And now over to 16, Ben Callaway. Forehand, the most natural way to attack this green. And he does so very well. Aider hold on 17. And sticks it on the elevated basket. All you can really ask for is a chance down the stretch. Chance to put the pressure on the lead card as they have to execute too. Aderhold going to go high, hyzer. Crosswind, right to left, and tail helps this carry. And as you wait for that spotter to give you the green flag, Ben Calloway going to try to find that as well. Lower line. And much too wide for Callaway. He will have to go to the drop zone. Ezra from circle two into the headwind. And not quite enough. It's going to leave him in a tie for second as Anthony Barella will win his third Disc Golf Pro Tour event in 2024. Take a look at our final round leaderboard. Aderhold and Callaway making a valiant push from this chase card. Glad we got to see a whole bunch of those shots. But uh, once again, Anthony Barella, too much to handle from that lead card. jump over to the FPO division for their final round chase card action. I'm going to be featuring three European players who have been very, very strong to start this year. FPO course uh, plays on the same property, almost the same layout. However, it's going to be about a thousand feet shorter, around 8,700 or so, and a par 66. Slightly lower wind in the morning. However, that is still a factor. And, uh, Everybody's chasing Kristen Tatar, Holland Hanley, and potentially trying to grab that podium spot. Silver Saarinen, hole four playing as a par four, and that is a great way to get a final round started. Heidi Lina, maybe flex shot through this gap on Hole four, the par five, turns the catch cam around. You're always doing something right when you've done that. Eight, an uphill par three. With a crosswind from left to right, difficult to get your disc to fight all the way back up. But Haiti has done that into the bullseye. We'll see if Silva has learned anything from that. It would appear so. 
goes driver and gonna be just one meter away. Luke Lorenzen. And excellent spin into that headwind uphill. Good committed stroke. Bina on the 11th. This one playing 385 feet. Headwind with some right to left cross and keeping it right in the basket is great here. That'll leave Haiti with a tailwind putt. Lorenzen on 12. Playing uphill with a low ceiling. Able to fight around the branches and gonna grab a birdie look out of that. Saarinen on 17. Difficult to judge this crosswind, but maybe not difficult for Silva. Ladies and gentlemen, the 8th Annual Jonesboro Open. Presented by Played Against Sports and West Side Dip. And as has happened before, Kristen Tatar kind of grab another win on the Disc Golf Pro Tour, this time a dominant nine-stroke victory. Excellent work out of Kristen. Uh, very excited to see how the rest of this year is going to go. You see the DGPT standings. Anthony Burrell and Owen Scoggins out in front. And as always, the goal is to get into the Disc Golf Pro Tour Championships. Top 32 for men, top 16 for the women. Uh... But so much golf left to go this year. Thank you for joining the Gatekeeper Media Chase Card Plus coverage. We will, we will be back at it for the Music City Open this coming week. For Andrew Fish and no Nathan Queen, we'll see you guys out there.